Today. So welcome back to our channel The Nightingale Tales. Before starting the video, don't forget to subscribe our channel The Nightingale Tales. So let's get started. Guys, we are putting our best efforts to provide you important questions and videos. So please subscribe us and like our videos. Please, if possible, share our videos too with your friends. So first question. Respiratory center is located at A. Cerebrum, B. Pons, C. Medulla oblongata, D. Spinal cord. So, we everyone know that our respiratory system is controlled by a center and that center is in one of the parts of the brain. So, what might be the answer? Any guesses? So, let's see the answer. It is medulla oblongata. Here you can see it is medulla oblongata and here there will be a center called respiratory center and everything is controlled by this center our respiratory rate rhythm and everything is controlled by the respiratory center so important question to remember so check it out guys next the parts of brain stem are a midbrain, pons and medulla, B pons and medulla, C midbrain and medulla, D pons, cerebellum and medulla. So I remember brain stem has three parts. So let's see, I think it's midbrain, pons and medulla. Let's see the answer. So yes, it is midbrain, pons and medulla. Here you can see these three are the parts of the brain stem. The brain stem constitutes three parts that is midbrain, pons and medulla. Remember the uh, question guys. Next, 83. Functions of cerebellum is all except maintenance of muscle tone, maintenance of posture, equilibrium and the hearing. So everything is considered with the cerebellum that is muscle tone maintenance, postural maintenance and equilibrium, balance body balance is also maintained by cerebellum so let's see i think it's answer d hearing because hearing has nothing to do with the cerebellum so yes it is answer d it is cerebellum hearing so let's get to another question the lobe of the brain that can decode and interpret visual information which part of the brain or you know which lobe of the brain can decode and interpret vis visual in information anything that is related to visual that is decoded by which part of the brain so a is temporal lobe b is frontal lobe c is parietal lobe and d is occipital lobe it comes it comes under occiput occiput occipital lobe can decode and interpret visual information so yes answer is right it is occipital lobe here you can see this is occipital lobe this is occipital lobe so you can see here and this colored this green colored part is occipital lobe next speech center is located in what is speech center? A. Broca's area. B. Premotor area. C. Frontal area. D. Post central area. So, speech center is also known as. Let's see the answer. It's Broca's area. So, speech center and Broca's area are same. Remember this question guys, it is the most repeated questions in all central government examinations, competitive examinations and state government too. So remember this, I think it's new for you, this question will be new for you. So remember this very well, the speech center is also called Broca's area. Next. A client with C4 spinal cord injury is at greater risk for A. Neurogenic shock B. Respiratory compromise C. Paral paralytic ileus. D. Stress ulcer. 
so there will be 33 spines in human vertebra so they are asking about c4 and cervical spines there will be c7 in spinal cord wherever the injury takes place so you can blindly say that below that injury or below that spinal cord injury there will be paralysis so it might be hemi or quadrip paralysis too so according to the case it will be the manifestation will be different so here the answer is if if the spinal cord injury is <clears throat> below the diaphragm then it will be paralyzed uh, paralytic areas or uh, anything related uh, to hind limbs so i think the answer is b it is respiratory compromise because below the c4 there will be respiratory organs everything so there will be respiratory compromise let's see answer yes it is respiratory compromise below c4 there will be respiratory organs so there will be respiratory wherever the spinal cord injury takes place below the uh, that spinal cord injury or below that span you can expect there will be paralysis so the if the diaphragm the diaphragm is responsible for maintenance of uh, proper respirations if there is a injury behind the diaphragm that is behind the spinal cord which is straight to diaphragm then there will be respiratory compromise so please check it out this answer next 87 csf is secreted from a choroid plexus b arachnoid villi c base of lateral ventricle d aqueduct so everyone who would be knowing this question or answer it is choroid plexus so here you can see this is choroid plexus and csf production so answer is choroid plexus next the part of the brain which is responsible for the coordination of movement is which part of the brain regulates the movement of body is a brain stem b thalamus c cerebellum d hypothalamus so let's see the answer it is cerebellum everyone know everyone knows that cerebellum is responsible for balance of the human body and equilibrium so you can blindly say that it is cerebrum cerebellum and you can see here the yellow colored part of the brain is cerebellum next in case of delay in the transportation of cerebrospinal fluid sample it should be a kept at room temperature b refrigerated at 4 degrees centigrade c kept at minus 20 degrees centigrade d kept in ice ice bucket so whenever <clears throat> there is delay in uh, transportation of uh, this csf to a particular laboratory or investigation room so the sample should be stored at so they have given some temperature so which is the right option so refrigerating the sample doesn't give you good ref results so doesn't give you accurate results so there will be these three answers are wrong the sample should not be refrigerated or refrigerated or kept in a ice bucket so answer will be a kept at room temperature so let's see so it is room temperature the sample should be stored at room temperature if it is delayed in getting transported to laboratory or investigation room so next question glasgow coma scale has all except a sensory response b eye opening c verbal response d motor response so in glasgow coma scale there will be eye opening that is for sure they will check pupillary dilatation and eye response so 
there will be motor response too i think the answer might be sensory response yes these three e v m we'll be seeing in uh, case sheets that doctors giving the score for uh, neurological patients or neurosurgery patients are that evm 3 2 and 2 like this so they will be writing like this in the case sheets or uh, records of a neurological patient after testing their uh, <coughs> neurological assessment so evm you can blindly remember that evm glasgow coma scale is evm so there is no sensory response so here you can see the scoring and the score of evm eyes warble and motor you can uh, remember this uh, mnemonic so that you would be it would be easier for you guys so this is all about today uh, video guys uh, the video on uh, nervous system important questions these are just important questions and repeated questions in central government and state government sector competitive exams i ask you to prepare for another questions too so if you are uh, if you guys want more updates and more important questions on other systems please comment down in the comment section so we'll take time and we'll give reply for everyone so if you want if you guys want this video in telugu we can prepare it too so if you want a video in telugu language please comment down in the comment section don't forget to subscribe our channel because we are uh, we are putting our best efforts to give you these videos so please subscribe our channel thank you have a good day